And now my beautiful Cancers, my brothers and sisters, I'm a Cancer too. Well, you are the dear moon child of the zodiac, loving nurturer. So get ready to make your mark in the world in this coming year in a fascinating way. Expect breakthroughs. You will not believe it, but it's true. Prosperous Jupiter in your house of communication and home sector will bring recognition of your talents of and your fabulous personality in your career and also more peace in your love and family department. Even friendship takes a whole new era of a lot of joy and sort of connectedness and it will make you feel very good. Actually expect many more friends coming into your life in 16 and 17. Self-discipline Saturn in your work and health sector brings fabulous news, it brings structure, helping you also to get organized, to focus, to deal very smartly with the powers that be, that will give you a break this year. And also, the good news is that this is a year of healing about any physical problem, pains you've had in the past, especially since 2012. Now you have magic solutions coming your way. So just take it, check it out. Rebellious Uranus, who has been in your house of career since 12, testing your patience and forcing you to re-evaluate your prof professional ambitions, well, this year it will give you a break. It will push you into a great, great adventure to finally be and become what you've been dreaming about since 2012 especially. And remember, you are ageless, so it's never too late. I don't care if you're 18 or if you're 80, you have, you have a project, you have an idea, We are in the Aquarian age, come on. So go for it. And don't let people with prejudice about age stop you in your tracks. Go for it because it will work. Be bold and success will be yours. Pluto will spend another year in your house of associations, helping you clean house throughout the trash in all your relationships. So the things that work will remain, the things that were not able to be fixed because we all know cancers, they'll try everything to make it happen. Well, you will have to bless it and let them go. This is a year of regeneration, total, total regeneration, total, total rebirth. Are you ready? Of course you are. Where you can attract also perfect partners. Somehow this, this year, Venus plays in your favor. And if you're single, you're divorced, you're looking for some true love, This is the year. And also, there's a possibility to get maybe an incredible miracle in career. Like, you won't believe it. If you're one of those that you've been really working hard, but it was always no, 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 you'll get that green light, yes, I promise. A project gets the green light, probably even before the summer. Neptune in fellow sign Pisces, your house of travel, can also bring new people from other cultures in your life that can, can help you expand new ideas and even make money with your talents. I'm talking worldwide, so any you could be attracting people from other countries that will just give you an idea and say, hey, we want you to do this, so say yes. And even if you need to travel, say yes. Your best months for the career, March, April, July and November, and for romance, June, July, September, and October. Your affirmation of the year, my beautiful moon child, I deserve to be happy, successful, and healthy, and I shoot for the stars. I believe in miracles. Your color this year, my beautiful cancer for good luck, is fuchsia.